Congo is really interesting. We were there for an ape story. Um, and, you know, one of the things that happened with uh, rare earth uh, minerals and all of that is that the U.S. used to control a lot of those mines. And then China, they sold them to China. Oops. And now a lot of the stuff we need for the future is in the hands of China. It's oh, so stupid. That's very American. Yeah, very American. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's dark. It's just crazy that it's there's so much exploitation in that country. Mm-hmm. You know, that continent is just flooded with exploitation. It's so, it's and it's stunningly beautiful. We were doing a story about ape trafficking, and it really is. It's the second largest country in Africa in terms of land, and it's got the most beautiful parks and rivers. It's stunning. It could be you know a huge tourism destination. Mm. Uh, we had the opportunity of hiking up this Kahuzi Viega National Park that leads up to the gorillas, where we saw uh, gorillas in the wild. And it was beautiful, beautiful, like stunningly beautiful. Who is trafficking in apes? Oh, um, well, a lot of them are ending up in the Arabian Gulf in Dubai. Again. What do they do with them? They put them in private zoos that they then charge visitors to come and see. Um, they uh, put them in private homes, people that want to have exotic pets in their house. Someone has a gorilla in their house? Oh, they do. Uh, gorillas go for $500,000 or more. It wow. is crazy gorilla that they catch in the wild. And the sad part about it is that in na- to be able to catch that gorilla, they then, and the same thing with chimpanzees, they have to kill the whole family because, you know, they're very social and... Uh, Baby apes being stolen for pets. Yeah. Little's being done to stop it. Yeah. $550,000 was trade ban yeah. for Asian, uh, African great apes in China, Middle East, and Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. Wow. So they have to kill the whole family? They kill the whole family, Joe. It's horrible. And the sad why, thing. Why do they have to kill the whole family? Because, for example, if baby chimps, uh, you can't carry your live chimp, for example, um, because they're too dangerous. And so it's the Batwa pygmies. We spoke, we did the whole chain of who, who hunts them, who kills them, who transports them, and then who buys them. And we started with, in the park, with the Batwa pygmies. You had a, go- a guest that I remember when I was doing research for the story I listened to. Didn't you have a guest Justin here Ray. who talked? Yeah. yeah, who did Fight a story about forgotten. that. Yeah. yeah. So the pygmies, you know, they've sort of lost their home, which is the forest. The Congolese government says they can't be there, and they have no money and no schools and no education and nothing. Desperate situation. So these people come out and say, if you get us a baby chimp, we'll pay you $10. $10 for a baby chimp. And they go out, and the problem with baby chimps is that until they're five five years old, they live at the hip of the mother, like always next to the mother. It's the way they their family is and so unable to be able to take and kidnap the child they have to kill the whole family because the the estimate the average is like 10 chimps have to be killed in order to be able to take away one baby because they'll attack because they'll attack yeah they won't (sighs) they won't let you leave with a baby yeah it's very very sad so we're talking to these guys who have done this um and how mu- much of a market is there? Like, how, mu- how many are they trading? There's a lot, lots being sold. So we then went online and did this whole investigation and found that it's actually super easy. There are people online that you can reach out to and they will get you a chimpanzee oh. or, or a baby gorilla. It's crazy. And then, yeah, and then they're transported in sometimes private planes to these places. Um, and then, you know, tourists in Dubai can take photos with little baby chimps. Jesus Christ. Or baby gorillas. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sure you know about that lady in Connecticut that had a full-grown chimpanzee in her home, and then uh, her friend came over, and the chimp decided didn't like her friend, so oh it ripped his, ripped her oh face no. off, just tore apart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they're ruthless. They are. They're yeah. You shouldn't have one in your home. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So. And you, you're not going to stop them unless you yeah. shoot them. They're they're yeah. so powerful. There's right. not a damn thing you can do to stop them from ripping your face off. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's the Doc Antle of it all. You know, remember mm. Doc Antle? Tiger King. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that guy? Yeah. yeah. A lot of them, it's basically people around the world wanting to be Doc Antle and having like a private safari that celebrities come to. What a bizarre need. What a bizarre want to have a bunch of locked up exotic right? primates in cages that you can just stare at. But also what a bizarre need it is that we want to take photos and selfies with tigers and apes. Mm-hmm. Like, why? I went to uh, a tiger sanctuary in Thailand uh-huh. with my family a few years back. And uh, the beginning is kind of cool because the beginning you're around the, the kittens. 
mm-hmm. and the cubs are like super energetic and they're jumping around and attacking things these little tiny tigers they're really cool but it's just like wow this, and there's a lot of people in the in the room with to make sure that the tigers don't go crazy and they're little yeah and then it gets to a slightly larger tiger and there's men with sticks and you could sit there there's like a picture of my daughter when she was 10 she's like sitting yeah. there smiling she's sitting next to a tiger <laughs> a small tiger it's yeah. like 40 pounds or something mm-hmm. like that then when they get bigger they're drugged Mm-hmm. So these people go in the cage with this massive tiger, and the tiger is just like, yeah, yeah. They're just all fucking heroined out, and these people take selfies, and it was so sad. I'm like, we have to leave. I'm so depressed. Do you remember the name of that place? I do not. Because mm-hmm. it, it was in it was in uh, Chiang Mai. Yeah, yeah. It's really sad, and the babies are also taken from their mothers. Yeah. You know. you're not supposed to be handling baby cubs that young. Yes, all of it is bad. exactly. It's all bad. And, yeah. But it's just like, I didn't realize they were drugged. Yeah. I thought they just fed them a lot and the tigers mm-hmm. are cool. <laughs> like, yeah. Nope. No. no. No, they're drugged. They're really drugged. Like, you see them there. Just like not. They don't move oh at all. God. They just lay around. So they just get these tigers hooked on heroin. Is it heroin? I mean, it must be. It must be some sort of an opiate. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. Morphine, something. Right. Something that just conks them out. Right. Because they were just sitting there, like, nodding. And this is massive, gorgeous apex predator. Mm. And it's all just so that people could take pictures with right. them. And yeah. so you decided to leave? Yeah, I'm like, no, we're not going there. Mm-hmm. I, I, did, I got weirded out when we got to the mid-size cats. Because I was like, that cat is a little dangerous. Even though it's only, like, 40 pounds, they're still a little sketchy. Like, this is a little weird. And I went in there, and I was like, it seems like it's okay. Let's just like, take a picture real quick, and let's mm-hmm. get out of here. But then when you get to the big cats, it's a, like, massive depression sets in. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, no. Yeah, so terrible, yeah. Because I'm just enamored with cats, especially mm-hmm. tigers. Huh. I just think nature created, like, the most beautiful, terrifying thing. I mean, if, if a tiger wasn't real, it's right out of Avatar. Mm-hmm. I mean, with their their insane colorations and their their fangs and their the the way they can leap their capabilities. I'm sure you've seen that video of the guy who's on the elephant and the tiger leaps through the grass and gets him while he's on the. Ele- you ever seen that? No. Oh, it's one of my favorites because this guy is in India uh-huh. and he's on this elephant and he's riding this elephant and you see the grass move ahead of him and this tiger leaps like 15 feet in the air and slashes at this guy and he's just lucky he got out of it with just getting cut up oh watch God, this a nightmare. so the guy's on the elephant look at this cat oh my God. look how it leaps i mean look at the size of this thing but watch out and he's like he's all he's got is like a little stick oh my he's like God. stop 